What's on the tray today? You'd have a job to know what it was, really. It's a little camera. A little camera. And it's, a, it's called a baby brownie. And it's from the early 1930s. Um, it's made of Bakelite. Which is um, one of the earliest. It's a phenolic plastic. And um, the, the design of it is like. It couldn't be anything else other than Bakelite, really. It was designed by someone called William Teague, and he knew what he was doing. There is an earlier plastic camera called the Kodak Hawkett, but that opens up on bellows and it's flat Bakelite. It's not as good as this one. This one looks like it's been moulded. Um, so considered by many to be the first worthwhile looking at plastic camera the baby brownie the way it works is this you you pull that up okay and that's what you look through take your glasses off first of course you, you look through the like that okay and while you're looking through there it's very easy to use the mechanism which is here That took a picture then or it would have done if I'd had a film in it takes a, a 127 film I think which is two two rolls one either side and it pulls through and you pull it through with that okay and you take a little picture in black and white of course because that's all there was in the olden days and there it is the um Kodak baby brownie made of Bakelite the proper word for Bakelite is polyoxybenzyl methylene glycol anhydride i'll be testing you later <laughs> okay that's invented by leo bakerland he lost the patent uh, the patent ran out in 1927 so everything made in bakelite then could be you could use it for making anything you like so people did and it became a generic term bakelite Beautiful little camera, isn't that sweet?